This is the first part of many videos that I will be making about my new computer. I just want to make this clear, this is not just any computer. This is a Hackintosh and a gaming PC. So I did have to make some compromises, uh, such as motherboard. I had to pay a lot more than I would have liked. And I know this is probably not the best time to build a computer. I didn't really get anything on sale, so the price might be more than I would have liked. I already have a mouse, already have a keyboard, already have a monitor, so I'm not going to be talking about those parts in this video. So let's talk about the first part that I actually have uh, at my home right now because I purchased this around two months ago and it's been sitting for a long time just collecting dust. I guess it's not collecting dust since it's inside the box. So here is the box. So this case is around 50 bucks. I had to pay $58 with uh, tax since I live in California, which really sucks, uh, but it's whatever. So here is what it looks like. I really don't want to open it up in the video, so I'm not going to do that. But anyway, uh, if you purchase it, it's 50 bucks and it is a budget. This is a gaming PC. So here is the main component that makes my computer a gaming PC, which is the graphics card. I wish I could have showed you clips of it, but I can because it's being uh, shipped right now or preparing for shipment, one of the two. But yeah, this is uh, NVIDIA GTX 960 with two gigs of GDDR5 RAM. Uh, it came out fairly recently, I think January 28 or February 28. Uh, not too old, probably the youngest card, not youngest, the newest cards that's out right now. And you can see the IO, it has, I think, three display port, one HDMI and one DVI port. And it is made by EVGA, which is, which is they're just a vendor for NVIDIA, not AMD. The next product that I should probably talk about is the processor and which is uh, Intel Core i5-4590. This is a four core processor with four threads, meaning no hyper threading, clocked at 3.3 gigahertz, which is quite low, but it does turbo to 3.7 gigahertz. The next part is the RAM, uh, uh, which I paid around $62, I believe. Uh, RAM prices have been going down fairly rapidly, so I was happy about that. And this is the power supply that I went with, which is EVGA uh, 500 watt. Uh, I think it has 80 plus bronze certified, so it's reliable. I have heard the fan noise is quiet and it's all good. It's not a modular power supply, but 500 watt is more than enough. And the video card really doesn't take that much power. Uh, so I am happy with the power supply. A lot of people don't really show their, I guess, Wi-Fi adapter, but I'm showing it. Uh, this is actually compatible with Hackintosh. That's why I purchased this instead of many other options. But this is the most sold one. It works well with OS X, and that is why I purchased this. But it's only, uh, li its limit is 150 megabit per second, which is 18 megabytes per second, which is not that much, but I don't have that good of an internet anyway. And this is what really, this is the most important component for a Hackintosh, which is a motherboard. Uh, this motherboard is, from what I know, I still you know haven't installed it, it's fully compatible with OS X, and it's on, uh, it's on recommended hardware list. Uh, if you look at Tony Mac x86, and my laptop fan just turned on, which sucks. But it has PCI Express 3.0, USB header, uh, four RAM slots, so which is good because I uh, purchased two four gigs thing. I can again purchase two more uh, down the process, but it is compatible with Hackintosh. I found few uh, people talking about Hackintosh and how to get it exactly uh, what you want. So the audio is supported as well as the LAN supported. Uh, so I'm excited to see uh, about that. So I guess that's those are the main component. Now if you thought like well, what's for storage? Well, I'm, I'm actually, uh, 
using uh, my laptop's hard drive, my other laptop that you guys probably n I've never made any video about. Uh, uh, I had that laptop's hard drive to uh, put it on my Xbox 360, but now I'm taking off my Xbox 360 and putting it on my computer. Uh, so that's what's gonna be for hard drive. But I will buy it by a new hard drive probably next month i'm thinking toward the wd blue hard drive which has really good ratings or seek it barracuda which is cheaper so i might get that they're bo both good hard drives with more than like 150 megabytes per second so that's the thing that i haven't purchased so i have purchased everything except the storage but i already have the storage so that's not a worry about so let's recap all the parts i have intel 4590 uh with uh, uh it's, it's gonna be on a gigabyte h97 motherboard uh with eight gigs of ram gigabyte uh, not gigabyte uh evga gtx 960 with evga 500 watt power supply and i think that's pretty much it if you guys have any concerns or I don't know anything about it. Uh, well, let me know what you think about the build. I will be making a new video when I do have my computer built. I'll be doing benchmarking, comparing it to my MacBook Pro. And this might be the last video that I make with my MacBook Pro. Because I'm going to completely switch to my Hackintosh for editing and everything. The reason why I'm building a Hackintosh, the main reason is because of Final Cut Pro X. I do have uh, a licensed copy of Final Cut Pro X. I didn't pirate it or anything like that. Apple actually sent me a code, which is a different story, I guess. So that's pretty much the reason why I'm building a uh, Hackintosh instead of that. I will try out Adobe Premiere and see if I like it but I just in case that doesn't work out uh, that's why I wanted to build the Hackintosh and Final Cut Pro is probably the most uh, like I I got really used to it I can edit videos within 30 minutes which took me really over two even five hours now it really doesn't take me that long time I don't really edit that much anymore don't really make any more videos but I will be doing that uh, after my new computer comes because uh, I have more things I guess I gotta share anyway guys thank you for watching leave a like and yeah uh, I'm hoping I will make a video uh, after I build my computer so that's pretty much it thank you for watching